my start button and uh, open up the uh, the email and that will open my Microsoft Outlook uh, inbox and on my toolbar up here I have a lot of different options I have file edit view go tools actions so what I want is tools <clears throat> and from there I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and go to options at the very bottom and once I'm on the options dialog box uh, that'll pop up in your screen you've got different tabs across the top called preferences mail setup mail format spelling other and delegates so uh, click on the mail format tab because that's where we want to go to edit the signature and once on the mail format tab um, about three-fourths down you're gonna see signatures so go ahead and click on the signature box to open the signature dialog box signatures and stationery so uh, that'll bring that up and I currently have a signature in here already so um, that's why you're seeing one in here but if you don't have a signature set up here this box will be blank here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and click new and the new signature box comes up so I'll go ahead and, and type in um, we'll call this sample signature and you can name it whatever you want uh, typically I would name it my name or um, signature or something to identify it with because this is what you'll use to pick out the signature that you want within your message so um, that name will identify it so go ahead and hit OK and now I have up here in the, the uh, underneath the email signature tab I have select signature to edit and I have my original one and my sample signature so the sample signature one is uh, selected I can go ahead and go down to the edit signature box and go ahead and type in um, a name and a title anything that you want to have in here um, is probably the best thing you want to do maybe some contact information uh, typically a lot of times I'll put my the address of the business or the school I work for so um, so that's all I have there and I can go ahead and put the phone number one two three so there's uh, an example for a signature there once I'm done I can go ahead and hit OK down here and that will save my signature um, I guess to get back in there you might want to check a few other things out in the signature before you close out of it um, up, here's my original signature so that's kind of an example of one uh, I have my title um, the name of the school address and phone number for contact information and then if I go up here to my new signature for select signature to edit I can click on that go to my options here um, that looks good to me I can make it bold I can uh, format it the way I want to but over here on the right hand side it says choose default signature um, that's where if I have two signatures I can choose the one that I want to use um, if you don't have a signature created yet and you create one now you'll probably have to go ahead to the new messages and hit your drop down box and select the signature if it shows none so um, I have that done I'm going to keep it with my default for my new messages and replies and forwards so once that's done I can hit OK go ahead and hit OK again to get out of the uh, the options box up here and uh, go back down here and um, now I'm gonna go ahead and go to new message and now that I'm in here here's my two uh, my CC and my subject so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, send a sample message to myself and I can go here to uh, the carbon copy and uh, subject test message for signature and my signature by default has shown up on the message already and I'll just type above it up here um, because that is what I had set up originally on the um, signatures options if I haven't selected a default signature for my messages I can go up here um, on the on the ribbon and select the little signature drop down box and I can choose between the two that I have or if I don't have a default one choose to add that one in there so um, there's also a way to go to the signature dialog box by clicking the signatures at the bottom of the uh, signature drop down box on the ribbon so a uh, couple different ways to get in there but the uh, way I showed you first is the most conventional so um, here's my message um, there's my signature say I want to switch it to the uh, new one I made I can go here to sample signature 
and now that has been reflected down here so um, that'll change the signature based on whatever one you created and like I said the default one will be the one that shows up in the message so um, I can type a message now and uh, I'm sending it to myself so once that is sent it will show up in my inbox there it is and there's my message from me to me my subject is test message test message for signature and there's my message with my signature on it so a uh, really quick and easy way to add your name and contact information to every email you send and you can create as many signatures as you want and choose the ones for different messages depending on who you send to so uh, that's uh, about all you need to know as far as signatures go and uh, that's it